<laughs> my people, my people, hey, don't be say, you don't scatter, they scatter, they scatter, they go. There is an adage that says that if a child asks what kills the father, what kills the father will as well kill the child. In other words, if that a father did something does not mean that the son must as well go and do that same thing. Hey. This is Daniela's post, my people, my people. Daniela, now you a doji affects food. Now infects daughter be this. What did she write? She says, please, I am not interested. No, I am not an actress. I have no business with acting and Nollywood. No, the first career on me, I beg. I don't act and I am not interested in acting. Acting is for him, not me. And I am my people. I am a whole different person. I am my own identity. Please stop tagging me in posts related to him. Nollywood, films, actors. I am not interested in Nollywood. No this and no peace. Like this girl, she has really lost it all in her father. And whose fault is this? Is the father, is you a duche that is at fault? Like Abi, another thing again is that why would he even be forcing her to? Gone are those days when parents choose careers for their children. She's a total different kind of person, even if now you born now, you understand? Aim that is even acting. She now from acting, acting. Nine stepmother can't enter. Then you expect her to agree to come into that industry with you. She has publicly come out to say she's not interested and and she's not the same kind of she does not have the same kind of identity with the father because see what Athen and Nollywood has caused in their family a home she once called a home you understand a family she once saw united with peace and love now because of the father's acting and Nollywood business his kind of trading which is Nollywood and Athen look where the family has landed look what has happened the mother is being dragged all social media a peaceful woman that had i mean had all the peace she needed before look how the father is coming out every single day trying to justify himself for the errors that he continues to make ahead 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 he once made a mistake yes by committing an adultery but till today the mistake is still going on he has not even deemed it fit to even apologize even if he says that he has been apologizing to her who knows and who knows i mean the daughter is fed up she, she look at what she said stop even tagging me with him do you do you did you just just look at that phrase alone to stop tagging me with him him her own biological father what does he say she has lost it all in this man and then the other video i posted where she said stop repeating the same thing to me all the time because she's not deaf she hears you that it can be so annoying when you keep justifying your mistake you keep justifying and justifying the thing is that as far as those children don't see that family that the way they used to see it before they can never be happy and they can never accept judy austin because the way judy austin and you a doji is carrying this whole thing they're carrying it in a total different level and he himself you a doji trying to justify himself and calling on tradition calling on a bible that there are different stories in the bible that are related but not the way he went about it even tradition that he says that permitted yes but it's not the way he did it because from the onset this man didn't even tell the wife you understand so the daughter is as well fed up she's like she's not interested in acting 
acting is not for her because she does not want what has happened to her peaceful family, her happy home to happen to, happen to her as well. She does not want what has happened to her mother now to happen to her in future because you never can tell. This may be that, okay, it's her father that did it. Tomorrow, you never may know what may happen. That is why she wants to flee away from that acting because it has destroyed once what she once called a home. Hey, hey, my people, when a father loses his respect in the eyes of his children for his own fault, it is such a painful situation. It is a painful story. Yul has totally destroyed everything that he once had, everything that God has given to him. And he kept on coming to social media to ramble about. It is enough, you, Yazukwe Miki. Like everybody keep telling him, it is enough. Just enter inside and wallow in what you have put yourself into. Since he said that it's Judy Austin, is Judy Austin. Let him go on. You understand? I, the children, they may, I mean, those children, you does not have any toddler anymore. His children are all grown. And the way he keeps coming out to do this thing, he's acting like somebody who is not even hurting anybody. Yet, he keep hurting his first wife. He keep hurting these children. Because divorce, when it happens, or when a family like this, especially when it has come on social media, these children are as well affected. If, they, if he hadn't come on social media, and at first of all, you know, handle this thing within the family, within them there, it would have been a different case. But this thing has circulated all over. So these children, their lives are as well affected. Because everywhere they go to, people look at them with such an eye. People point fingers. Yes, I don't know if he doesn't think. You, at times, he acts like somebody that doesn't reason. Seriously, he keep coming here to destroy and disregard and humiliate the image of his wife and children. Every time he comes out to justify himself, he is hurting them more. That is why he has to stop. He really needs to stop. And this girl, she's 16, she's grown. She's adolescent. This is time that she needs to, you know, she needs all the attention, all the love, everything that she, she needs it now because adolescent stage is a critical stage in the life of human being. If you don't tackle it and handle it well, it may lead to total destruction. Now she has her career, her, her study to think about. She has her family to think about. She's emotionally done. Don't think that she's coming out to do all those TikTok, do all those, you know, Instagram videos and the rest of them. Those children need attention now, but it's so unfortunate that their father is not even helping matter. He is even the one continuously tarnaging the image of those children and their mother. What a shame. May God not allow us to use our hands and destroy what he has given to us. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. Please, if you like this video, do not forget to support by giving it a thumbs up. This is Simply Gist TV. Subscribe if you have not for more videos and I'll be seeing you guys on my next one. Bye.